So now we will take a look at your um, Midjourney profile page. So you can go to midjourney.com forward slash app app. And you will be led to your profile page. The features of the profile page include uh, at the home section, if we click on home, you will see all the images. Oh, oh, let me go back. You will see all the images that were that you had generated so far. And some of these uh, were some trial images that I had performed for testing purposes. The next tab on the left hand side menu is the community showcase where you can see other people's uh, images that they had generated. You will not be able to see some of these features until you become a monthly subscriber. So once you become a monthly subscriber, you'll be able to click on these images and check out the prompts and see how they were able to create these images. Then these tools you can see here on the left hand side, those are all grayed out and will uh, be available to you once you subscribe. Now we have our help feature. So the first uh, button, I believe it's the page for the purchase a subscription. To, uh, for your subscription, you have your basic membership which is $10 a month, limited use of up to 200 images per month. And my advice is to not get that because it goes very quickly. I believe I did in two days time, I had already maximized my basic membership. And I therefore decided to go for the standard membership, which is $30 a month for unlimited personal use. You can create as many images as you like with, I believe there is some one little, um, uh, feature that you need to take care of, which is relax and fast, um, which I'll talk about in another video. Then the last uh, package that you can get is the corporate membership, which is $600 a year for a single user unlimited plan, private by default, uh, enterprise commercial terms, as well as access to the members gallery. The next uh, option on the left side menu, let me go back, sorry, is this question mark. And this gives you a detailed guide for all the features of Midjourney. I'm hoping to go th over these with you. So if, you're, if you don't want to read and you just want to hear my voice, then yes, then. Uh, but for those of you who like to read and get down to um, get down to the details as quickly as possible, this is the page you'd like to go to. And the last one, the information just talks about the company, the people who have helped create this uh, wonderful technology, and uh, available careers, and contacts if you want to send them an email. Let's see here. And then this button down here, I believe, is the Discord button. So. Manage plans, which is, uh, let's see, if I click on manage plan, it opens up this subscription page. And, or you can open up Discord or sign out. There are some features within your profile library that will be very useful to you. As you can see on these images, we'll work with these top four images. You'll see this circle with the plus uh, icon on it. If you click on that, you can actually do a group download. Uh, so download multiple images at the same time. So if I click that one, hello, oh, that one, oh, come on, that one, that one, that one. And I want to download all four of these at the same time. I'll open up the downloader and it'll create a zip file where I can download all of them onto my computer, uh, onto my local hard drive. So we'll clear that out. Another feature here are these three dots at the bottom right-hand corner of the image. If you click on that, 
there is a save image feature so if I click on save image it will save the image as a PNG file and the great thing about saving it on your computer is so if you're savvy with Photoshop or Illustrator you can add uh, add a, uh, make changes to any of these images to your liking then the next feature that I'd like to go over is the copy command so let's pick an image that I had done previously so modern Hong Kong painted so I believe I did this in my first video that showed you how to do the basic uh, creation of images so if I click on this and I copy command and let's go into discord and down at the bottom if I put the forward slash imagine space the prompt uh, option shows up and I put control V or paste it pastes the exact keywords uh, or description that I had used for that particular image so that comes very handy uh, when you're especially once you start working with more you're going through a lot of images and that's actually a feature when you become a um, a monthly subscriber that you can do with the community images so you can find out what commands they use to create their images let's continue with this uh, Monet Hong Kong image that we created earlier and uh, you can open it up in discord the reason why you want to open up in Discord is, for example, let's say you don't like some of these images. So, for example, I'm going to take this image that I created with a shoe made with mother of pearl photo real 3D. And let's say I want to remove that from my uh, my profile page and just remove it from, uh, I didn't like the image, I just want to remove it. So, I'm going to open up in Discord. And this one's going to say open up the app. So it'll open up the app and it'll go to the actual uh, location where the image was created. Here, if I want to, I can go back and do some uh, upscaling or some variations or even refresh uh, the picture to create four new ones. But what I found very useful was if you right click on the image, there's this icon with the X. If I click on the X, it will delete that image from uh, Discord as well as from my profile. So if I go here and I refresh my profile, refresh, there it goes refresh, it should be gone. So those slippers are no longer there. And that is the features that you have on your profile page. These other items here for new, um, as you get uh, more into the hundreds or thousands of images created, you can always jump forward by reversing the images by or categorizing them from latest to oldest or from oldest to latest. So if I wanted to turn it upside down, I would click oldest and I would go to my first images that I created uh, within this uh, account. Also, I believe the top and the hot are once people start voting for your images and uh, liking your images. You can see which image as is um, are your top voted images or which one is trending. This uh, all feature allows you to select either all your images. If you want to just select the upscaled images, it'll show you all the upscales that you had performed or if you'd like to see the grids which is the initial four images that are generated you will see those categorized so let's go back to all and all channels these are channels that you have access to once you become a paid paid subscriber so uh, and those are uh, community shared uh, images that um, uh, that everyone shares their uh, how they created the image or they they share the actual image itself and also I believe uh, view as visitor if I click I remember if I click view as visitor last time I did it it logged out of uh, discord so those are the features of your profile um, once we get to the paid subscription and we'll go back to this page and we'll go into more detail with how you can utilize the profile to uh, either uh, tweak your images or delete them. So 
And that's it. Everybody have a better than excellent day.